All right, right into the news. Location uh, for our first set of news tonight is in Iran. Iranian women face 10 years for sharing videos of hijab removal. Um, the story basically kind of focuses around Masih Alinejad. For those of you who don't know who she is, she's a huge uh, women's rights activist from Iran. Uh, she's been given the Geneva Summit for Human Rights and Democracy Women's Rights Award. Um, they said that they gave it to her for giving a voice to the voiceless and stirring the conscious of conscience of humanity to support struggle of Iranian women for basic human rights, freedom, and equality. Uh, since 2014, she's been using social media, kind of asking Iranian women to post pictures of themselves without their hijab. Um, and the Iranian government is, is furious about this. So they've been sentencing women who are removing their hijab to between one and 10 years in jail, um, according to the Islamic Criminal Justice Act, they're able to do this. All right, so f a few things. This is very, very stupid move by the Iranian government. And you might, if when I say that, a lot of people might say like, well, what else is new? But it's important not to understand, underestimate the Islamic Republic of Iran, the government. They have been extremely strategic when it comes to uh, making political moves and surviving. I mean, this is a government that, it, it, even though it's an evil government, against all odds, has, it has survived against a lot of forces, right? And when it comes to foreign policy, they make very, again, I'm not endorsing them. I don't, I, this is unfortunate that they've been very smart uh, when it comes to foreign policy and surviving. But when it comes to internal politics, they make such m huge mistakes because this is a, I think when it comes to threat to the Iranian, to Iran's government, to the Islamic Republic, they are a bigger threat to themselves than the United States, Israel, or anybody, uh, anybody. Like the, these kind of things that they do, that when you give 10 year sentences to people that post, send videos, but to Masih Halinejad, but anyway, for people who don't know, you should know Masih Halinejad, Masih Halinejad is the, a activist from Iran right now in the United States. Uh, basically, women from Iran send videos. No, not just women, actually. People from Iran send videos to her about taking off their job. But not just that. That's what gets the most attention. But they also send videos about prices going up, heart living conditions, you know, hospitals. And she shares that. And a lot of people follow her. And people get, see the, des the desperate situation that people are facing in Iran, right? But the, but the interesting thing is that the most the things that gets the most attention in, for, in foreign media, like people send pictures like, look, I can't afford food anymore. I used to be able to buy meat and vegetables. Now I'm just buying bread, right? She shares those as well, but those don't go viral. The ones that go viral is when, the, when women share videos of themselves taking off their hijab, right? So that's what she's known for, even though she uh, focuses on everything. Um, and she uh, she's becoming very, very influential, very, very influential. And um, again, so so this is a major threat to Iran's government. And now they're making it a crime. I mean, to send her videos, just sending her videos, you know, even if you don't post it yourself, if you send her videos, you could get up 10 years in prison. Right. And this sounds so ridiculous. And actually, the thing is that this what are, what they're doing, but you know, is making her even more uh, sig more significant. But because this is now news, more people are now going to go check out who she is, and now she's going to have more influence over Iran. More pr she could put put more pressure on Iran, right? And more people are going to send her videos because of this kind of news. And more people are going to look at Iran's government and going to be like, well, that's, you guys are ridiculous. Obviously, you, this government needs to go, right? People are going to sympathize with the people when you get 10 year sentences just because you send somebody a video. So again, like when it comes to dealing with United States, Israel and Saudi Arabia, Iran has been extremely strategic and has made all the right moves to survive against foreign enemies. So, but when it comes to the threat within Iran has been extreme Iran's government has been extremely stupid so much so that they are the greatest threat to themselves by doing stuff like this and to be to be clear I don't think these are the same people right I don't think like when it comes to the Islamic Republic it has a lot of different groups a lot of different people uh, and the decisions that the people are making when it comes to foreign policy which is, by the way, it's not the ministry, you know, uh, it has not, it's not the president, it's courts and all of, it's the religious leaders. 
it, those those strategic people are not the same people I think that are making decisions internally and that's why you might see such a um, you know some people think these are so stupid that some people think that maybe these somebody uh, that is against the government is from making these decisions so that, uh, making these blunders but when it comes to Messi Ali Najat herself by the way I, I uh, me and Ali Riz we interviewed Messi Ali Najat go look that up uh, search for secular jihadist Messi Ali Najat you will see that on YouTube it was a great interview um, so by the way we interviewed her right before she became extremely unavailable so now nobody can it's really hard to get her during an interview but we got it um, so um but she is being attacked from all sides so, so she's accused of being i think in this article she's being accused of being a government agent for united states something like that right yes that's correct she is so so the thing is that she, uh, i mean anything that she does for the united states is like well i mean she has a show on voice of america like it's very indirect right it's not like she's like secretly meeting with the cia and stuff this is this is the conspiracy theories i mean she might but we don't know right um, these people just make stuff up without evidence, but technically she is working for Voice of America, and Voice of America is government-funded, you know, tag, you know, by United States, right? So indirectly, yes, yeah, she is uh, working for the United States government, but just like she just has a show and she says whatever she wants on the show, right? Uh, I mean, she's saying the things that she always used to say. But not in the sense that people think like, oh, she's working with the government. I don't know. Maybe it is, but it, I mean, I wouldn't mind if she is, right? Um, this, and that, but the interesting thing is, while some people think that she is a agent of U.S. government, the people in Iran, again, this, I lost a lot of fans in Iran, a lot of atheist fans and a lot of secular fans and a lot of liberal fans from Iran by not agreeing with this other conspiracy theory. The, the polar opposite side of this uh, first conspiracy theory that she's actually an agent of the Iranian government and I think that's ridiculous and it's very it's so bizarre to me that this is an idea that is so popular in Iran that she's actually distract she is hired and paid for by Iran's government to distract Iranian people from toppling the government giving them false hope it's just a bizarre conspiracy theory and it's very popular and I know a lot of people Iranians watching will hate me think saying that it's ridiculous but I think that's ridiculous okay if she was a puppet of I mean these people think that they have more intelligence than the CIA if she was an agent of Iran's government trying to do something like that right now she would be arrested she's in the United States right now she would be arrested okay and she would be a spy for Iran and she would be arrested and these people think that they know more about her than the CIA I mean, it's such a ridiculous claim, but she's getting attacked from all sides. And I think she has done the most from most people uh, and most activists when it comes to Iran stuff. She has done more than anybody for, for the cause of secularism, women liberation, and even toppling the government of Iran. Nobody has been a greater weapon against Iran's government than this woman. And it's so unfair that she gets to attack, not just from people that are supposed to be her enemies, but also from people that are supposed to be her allies. So really sad about that. But again, I know a lot of Iranians will disagree with me. I hope they could, I hope they don't abandon me completely like most people because of this disagreement. Um, do you, Ali, did you, uh, Shobham Ali, do you guys want to add anything to this before I read the top comments? No, I did good. add that she has some, um, her social media accounts have been switch to a US based uh, social media platform. Um, and that's due to a lot of her stuff being reported and shut down. Right. So while I go through the top comments on face on Facebook, you guys check in the live stream because I because I only have two screens right now when I'm traveling, I usually have three screens. So I can't read the YouTube live chats that much. But uh, I'm going to see what the top comment is. Top comment says, meanwhile, in the West, the hijab is a symbol of personal freedom. Um, yeah, I think that's bullshit. I do believe that uh, women should be able to have the right to wear uh, the hijab, but they have the right to wear the hijab, and I have the right to ridicule the hijab, uh, and I have the right to ridicule people seeing the hijab as a symbol of freedom, right? So I do believe people should have the right. And I have the right to think that that's bullshit. And if you think this is a symbol of freedom, you're just being ridiculous. Um, it's a symbol of slavery. That's what it is. 
Lisa is saying, I follow the group called My Selfie Freedom, where these women are share videos of the abuse and often violence they have to endure. Yeah, self, My Selfie Freedom is a page by, it's actually started as a Facebook page and then turned into a movement. Uh, very much like Atheist Republic, which is started as a page and then eventually turned into a, a global movement. Um, Lisa's comment is, uh, okay, continues and says, I often wonder why the Women's March never marches for these women instead of choosing to be oppressed by someone's opinion or a man sitting with his legs too far apart on the train. Okay, so I, I don't agree with you, Lisa. I mean, I do agree with that man spreading is a ridiculous thing to be upset about, but I also I agree with that, but I also disagree with you because the Women's March was about uh, US-related stuff, right? I mean... You could criticize people for not paying attention to something else, but they should be able to focus as, as, as sometimes as if they want as well. Like, you, you know, sometimes women want to focus about women rights issues in their own country. You know, sometimes the march is about women's rights in the United States. Yes, we understand that other women somewhere else has, have it worse. And it's, it's a fine to bring, uh, you should bring attention to that if, you, if that's your activism. But you should also be able to sometimes focus on some uh, a sp a specific problem at a specific location. So I don't agree that you have to be general all the time. Um, Ali, any comments? That we, uh, by the way, Ali, do you agree with what I just said? I don't know if you've, that it's okay to focus on US women rights stuff instead of having to always bring attention to other countries. Actually, you disagree with me on that. <laughs> no, um, no, yeah. Oh, you don't, don't want to get into that. You don't. I think, don't want to get into. It. Okay, no, I'm gonna bring you into that. You don't. You don't think that woman there is any woman rights issue in the United States? You think it's. Um, you, you think that it's just only other countries that woman rights is still an issue. I think that we have worked very hard mm -hmm. in America. Uh, to give women equal rights. And I think that our voices are better used right now helping women in Iran, Saudi Arabia, and other places where they're not equal. Okay, yeah, that's a fair comment. Um, let, it's good to hear the other side. Shopan, what do you think? I really don't want to get to that. <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> if I get into feminism, then okay. we, I can I can actually do this all the day, but then the video will be okay. Fine, okay. fine. Uh -oh. okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.